Hey everybody, I'm Andy. Let's go fishing. We're out on Fishing Creek Lake today in our canoe. This is Saturday afternoon, coming on to evening really. We got three rods out. All with a perch caught from last week. We're in the canoe, we're tied to a tree right there. We got our little four horsepower Chinese outboard motor. I'm not really impressed with that on this maiden voyage. I'm not really impressed with it at all. Here, I'll show you what, how it sounds. Crank's good. Instead of came with a reverse, the instructions say to reverse it, just turn it around. <laughs> Ain't that something? Let's see what she'll do. I cut it off. Yeah, it's not doing good. It's bogging down and uh, sputtering. I may have to work on the carb. I've heard people had to adjust the carbs on here. Oh, there's a YouTube video. I can find out somebody that's worked on it before and uh, get it tuned out. It's just not running right. It's uh, yeah, this is the first few minutes on it. I might crank it to the house in a tryout. But, and it sounded good, but you put that prop on the water and it starts doing a little bit of work. It ain't doing a lot. Anyway, we're out on the water. We're at Fishing Creek Lake. And hopefully, uh, we got a couple, three hours for about two and a half hours for that, for dark. So we're going to try to catch a fish, y'all. We're just going to pull up over these trees and tie off. I really like these stabilizers. These stabilizers are great. I mean, I, mean, I can really... That's what gave me the confidence to put this four horsepower motor on here was the stability I had with this right here. But uh, I'm not impressed with it so far. It was only 300 bucks, but you know, 300 bucks is 300 bucks. Uh, I wouldn't even bought this, you know, without y'all support. Because I, mean, uh, I can't justify it. But thank y'all. I want to thank y'all for helping me get this. We got to get it running good. All right, let's see if we can't pull over here and catch a fish. So that's that. I mean, it just uh, it needs some work. Uh, hopefully, I can adjust on the carburetor or whatever and get this thing working right. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But uh, anyway, we're out. I still got the. I can put the uh, trolling motor back on here if I want to. So I've still got that option. But I ain't give up on this thing yet. I mean, it's just. Uh, See how you broke in? I'm scared to run it wide open. It sounds like, sound like it's really straining just to push me around. And uh, uh, it shouldn't be straining that hard. I've, I've seen a good many videos. This thing's just not running right. Anyway, here we are. Oh, we got a bite, y'all. Y'all got a bite right there. We sure did. He hit it pretty hard. He, maybe he'll come back for it. Anyway, it's that time of year when they start coming up shallower. Uh, you can catch them anywhere now. You can catch them deep and you can catch them shallow. This water in here, I don't really know it that well. I think it's around out there in the deepest part. I can reach it's probably 12 or 14 foot deep. And up to here where I'm at now, probably four or five foot. So we've got all kinds of depths here we're fishing in, I think. So 
we're just going to stay here and see if we can't catch a fish, y'all. This is encouraging. We just got them out and we already got a bite. That's, that's good. The wind is terrible. Uh, I hope these wind deflectors, I got new wind deflectors. You see it here on, the, on my chest camera. Well, I got the same thing on this camera you're looking at. And hopefully I sound a lot better. Uh, if you watch the guy hooked on cat, hooked catfish, uh, he's got a good channel. And uh, I talked to him because I love his, his audio is great. Way better than mine. And uh, he told me what he used. And it's just wind deflectors on the GoPro. So that's what I tried. So hopefully we sound better, y'all. All right, we're waiting on a bite. We've got about two hours before dark, and we're just gonna relax and uh, see if we can't get a bite. Waiting on a big one. You're gonna mess around your hook, buddy. They can't be bigger than nothing. They can't get hooked. We still got flowers of daylight left. I don't want to waste it right here. I don't want to waste it all right here, so we're going to move. Try another spot. And I tell you what, that thing's making so much racket, you're not going to sneak up on no fish with it. So we're going to paddle in here a little closer to the hole. That thing's making so much racket. I thought four strokes were quieter than that. I never had a four-stroke outboard, so, but uh, I guess because it's air-cooled. Anyway, it sounds like you're struggling, buddy. <laughs> I guess you get what you pay for, but... <sighs> I wasn't expecting much, but I was expecting more than that. Anyway, maybe we'll catch a fish. Make all this worthwhile. I think we're gonna catch one with that anywhere near this outboard with the outboard running. Man, it sounds like a weed eater. Oh, no, it sounds worse than that. It sounds like one of them uh, uh, leaf blowers. I hate them things. I don't own one. I like leaves. Leave them where they lay. Good fertilizer. Lots of stumps back in here. Lots of dead falls. Water's way up. Higher than usual. I think I'll pull over here to shore. I may even get out. I didn't uh, I didn't bring my I didn't bring my bank stuff, but I might stretch out here on the bank. Try to make some rigs up some kind of way. That was like a good spot. I don't know. I'd be better out here in the boat. Be better to fight the fish out here and everything. So we're just gonna go in here and tie up. Fish out the left side. The top of this line right here. Somewhere. Somewhere under the rainbow. Here we go. What about this? This looks pretty good.
Let's see if we can get that out of there. That's better than this. Oh, I got a bite. I got a fish. A good fish. Oh, yeah. Well, that was quick. Let's get out of here, y'all. That surprised me. Oh, he's moving. Yeah, we are hooked up. He's running right in that other line. I wasn't expecting that. I ain't got my three rods out yet. We're in shallow water back up in this cove. He's going to tangle us up with that other one. Oh, maybe he's just wrapped around the one. There we go. Good fish. Good fish. Yeah. All right. Good rest right there. Yeah, that's what we're after right there. All right. Put it right here. Put this right here. I want to... Is he hooked? He looks like he's hooked pretty good, y'all. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. All right. All right, that's exciting. Whew. All right. Where are we going? We got one here. So despite the trolling motor, the, the Chinese motor not working too good, it did put us on the fish. So uh, it's a success right there, all right? Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> yeah, let's do that again, y'all. Let's do that again. We ain't got the bait off, is it? You put a fresh bait on it. Yeah, it feels like he got the bait. He was hitting it and hitting it, then he quit. Oh man, I snagged up right there by the... Oh man, I should have known better than that. I'm gonna break off right here. Oh man, I hate to do that. I can untie. Go over there, but these rigs here, I'll mess them up probably. Uh, did it move? No, oh, it ain't moving. Look, 30 pounds test line. I should know better than that. I brought the wrong tackle box. I brought my crappy tackle box. Well, that's, I brought the wrong tackle box, y'all. We're down to two rods. I grabbed the wrong one. We have no rigs. There's no hooks. So we're down to two. Hmm. Oh well. Be careful not to lose one of them. I'm going to be down to one. I'll hear the wind in the trees. Kind of protected over here in this cove. It's pretty rough out there. Uh, we need one more big fish. I'll call it. One more fish, y'all, and I'll call it. 
Just one fish. Just one. One more. Well, y'all, the sun's going down, and we hadn't hooked up another time to yet, so we're fixing to reel it in and head back to the house. It's starting to get pretty cool out here. We'll get these rods in. It was a nice evening, a nice uh, peaceful evening, you know, uh, got out of the wind up here in this cove, and it was very, very relaxing, but... Uh, Maybe a little bit too much so with fish didn't bother us too much. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. And uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully we'll have another one for y'all next week. Thanks again. Oh, yeah. If y'all, uh, anybody who's interested, I'll, uh, going back, we'll, uh, we'll test the speed on this thing. We'll see. We'll clock it and see what this on four horsepower Chinese motor will get this canoe up to. I was hoping for 10 mile an hour. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, we'll be lucky to get eight. And the way it's running, I don't know if we'll get eight. But uh, we'll see if y'all want to stick around. All right, see you next time. All right. So crank right up. See what you do, y'all. Here we go.